The smack on today. And he is, that's a beautiful kick. Solid straight down the middle. And New Zealand find themselves trailing. France three, New Zealand no. Just the start France need. Can they keep it up for 80 minutes? That's the question. Muscle damage or tendon damage. Well, he's got stacks of length. Hits the post. Olivier Magne. Homing in on him. Fox had 645 points for New Zealand. Another difficult one. Again, it's hit beautifully. But he's missed it on the right post. Not out of two for Mertens. No mistake that time. And it's New Zealand three, France three. It is. Mertens again. Over it goes, and New Zealand take the lead in the 18th minute. 6 3. La Maison is back there. Gives it to Benazi to make the hard yards. Lovely break from Dominici, he's got real pace. Lovely running from Dominici. Caught just a metre short. And the French will want this one quickly. They've got men over. Over goes La Maison, a glorious score. Great rugby from the French. Well, we know France can play when they want to, and it looks to me as though they want to in this one. Terrific try from France. Dominici, lovely break here. Got gas to spare. Weaving Maisie run. Great tackle in the end, just drags him down. Now, here's where they want quick ball. It's got to come out quickly. There's a massive overlap on the right. Ball appears, and it's a walk in. Big Jonah on his own. But what a great try. Dominici has always impressed me. Only a little man, but my goodness, he can go. Yeah, we've seen some great French wingers over the years. Dominici got plenty of pace, John, like you say. La Maison makes no mistake with the conversion. It's game on. France 10, New Zealand 6. Mertens, again, a beautiful strike. Over it goes. One point only in it. France 10, New Zealand 9. Dominici is hounded down by Kronfeldt. Danger here. Cullen flips on to Lomu. Lomu steps outside. Cuts inside. He's still not down. He's over! And Lomu... Breaks the deadlock for the All Blacks, regains the lead for them, and France looked frightened. Oh, I don't believe that. There must have been six Frenchmen trying to drag him down. He had a bit of an overlap, he didn't want to know it in the end. Look at this, he just veers infield. One, two, three, four, five Frenchmen trying to haul him down. Benazi brushed off in the corner, and Lomu crashes over for another sensational try. Incredible, his 14th try in Rugby World Cup. The thing is, John, there's big men hitting him here, Benaz has had a go at him, the number eight's had a go at him, and he just, he's, the, he's not just knocking off small men, he's knocking off huge men. Nobody else has scored anywhere near that number of tries in Rugby World Cup. He loves this stage, Mertens, but he hooks it a shade. So, New Zealand back in the lead, 14-10, and thanks to the big man again. Nicely set up, Lemaison again. Dominici, and he can really go. Garbayosa into the first one, but Cullen's going to beat him there. Oh, what a shame, there's a try on there. Just kicked it too hard. But the important thing for their confidence, Steve, is yet again, they've managed to open them up. Well, France must be encouraged. A 
lovely little kick, the French keeping their game together well, constantly testing the All Blacks. From the five-meter line, that looks good. Oh, it is. Drills it straight through the middle. New Zealand increased their lead 17-10. And uh, in some ways, hard to believe, except for that penalty count, because France have certainly played more of the attacking rugby. Yes, that's a shame. France can be pleased with the first half. Could have had another couple of tries, bounce of the ball. Is it going to make it? No, wide of the right-hand post. France escape. Jim Fleming says that's enough for the first half. The game still anybody's. Everything to play for. New Zealand 17, France 10. So, ready for the second half to start. France, and luckily, seven points adrift. Wilson right underneath it. This is dangerous. He's got Umanga and Lomu. This time, though, they go for the option back to Wilson. Back inside to Lomu. Pass one, pass two. Here he goes again. Bundling them off, and the big man is over for his second try. They just worked the variation of shade, but again the danger was he got the ball in open field. Well, I just couldn't believe that. La Maison just kicked it straight down Wilson's throat. Who's outside him? With Jonah alone, if you want to kick to two people in the world, you don't kick to those two. Over goes the kick. And New Zealand have opened a gap. 24-10, they lead. LTA just composing himself, back it goes to Lamizol. Over it goes, and that's the full set for Lamizol in this match. Try, conversion, penalty, drop goal. Yeah, that's a better kick. Straight through the middle. Brings them back into it. And again, it was patience, they built up several phases of play, kept control. And when they do that, anything is possible. Looks like a penalty to France is there if they don't get advantage. Back it goes to Lamaison again. Hooper goes another drop goal. And France suddenly taking the game again to New Zealand. 24-16. If the All Blacks thought that that try was going to be the killer, they're mistaken. But here goes La Maison. Well, he's got stacks of length. No problems at all. And France are now back to within one converted try. Five points behind. New Zealand 24, France 19. Yeah, so they are backing it. And they deserve to be as well. Quite incredible. They looked so good, didn't they, in 97 and 98 when they won those back-to-back -back Grand Slams and it all fell apart. And the confidence went, suddenly it's come flooding back. Well, he's drilled it, through it goes. My goodness. Suddenly a virtuoso kicking display from La Maison. All the pressure though, all the hard work being done by the French forwards. And they thoroughly deserve that scoreline. New Zealand 24, France 22. And the French have it. They're like terriers in those rocks at the moment. Dominici, he's going to go in. Dominici scores for France. They take the lead. Oh, can you believe it? Dominici can't. French crowd can't. They're loving it. It was a beautiful kick and a kind bounce. Galtier saw it, left foot, just chipped it over. Lovely bounce for Dominici, but he's now got pace to burn. Randall will get nowhere near him. And he zeroes in under the post, and the Twickenham crowd has gone mad. He did it absolutely beautifully, didn't he? 
picked the ball out one-handed. It bounced pretty kindly for him, but he still had everything to do. Lemizor. Over it goes. And now France have a five-point lead, 29-24. And we'll see what the All Blacks are made of. We certainly will. This try from this man, Dominici, has just changed the game on its head. It seemed all over 15 minutes ago, it certainly isn't now. Look at that, 45 rut balls won by France, that is phenomenal. And they're trundling forward again. Amazing stuff from the French. In from the side went Maxwell, he only stopped him for a moment though. The main core of them all still driving on, they're only five metres short. Back it comes, Lamaison chips over and through it. Dort is there for the try. Richard Dort scores again for France. Well, oh, sensational. <laughs> Dort, he can't believe it. And listen to this Twickenham crowd, they're loving it. It was great forward play, wonderful vision from La Maison. Oh, and they're queuing up to score. Dorf got it down, good try. Well, we're just going into the final quarter. Christophe La Maison with a conversion attempt to give France a 12-point lead. Quite amazing, John. We've got about 50,000 Englishmen cheering for France. And what's quite incredible about it is the way the French forwards there really drove the All Blacks back 20, 25 metres. Pierre Villepreux suddenly almost unable to believe it himself. Over it goes again. Now, this is the biggest upset in World Cup history in the offing. 36-24, and certainly New Zealand have got to find something now. There's going to be no easy breakthroughs here. Mertens, lovely pass to Omunga, to Wilson. And bundled into touch, they're not going to let him over easily. Wilson forced into touch. French under pressure, but at least they'll have the throw. My goodness, you just look at the pattern of this game, and now France have scored 26 points without reply. Yeah, it's been a sensational 15, 20 minutes, hasn't it? 24-10 to 24-36. Everything going France's way. That was a free ball because they had already been offside. It was Maxwell who was offside at the ruck. And so, without needing any sort of clairvoyance, we can say that La Maison will be going for goal. And this challenge is a very important kick because it will put them 15 ahead. Oh, he's no. not going for goal. Well, they really are feeling confident. Going for the jugular into the corner, win the line up, let's try and drive over. Well, 10 out of 10, that is brave. Quickly away, Kelleher, Mertens, Gibson. Mertens getting it round, Umanga's dropped it. Hacked away by Mania. He and Bernard Sell are after it. Mania chases on. Wilson's got a hell of a lot to do. He hasn't done it. Bernard Sell. The try is given. Bernard Sell has surely won this game for France. Lord Dort comes back to milk the applause. Sensational. Look at this, All Blacks making mistakes. Simple drop. And now it's a foot race. Look at Bernard Sal, he's coming from nowhere. Randall's trying to get back, he isn't going to get there. Wilson ain't going to get there. He is Bernard Sal. Did everything right, it was a great pickup. Well, we are on the verge of the biggest upset in the whole of Rugby World Cup history. Nobody gave France a chance, and here they are. They cannot believe it when they look up at that scoreboard. 
and see France 41, New Zealand 24. It is absolutely sensational, John. We saw France play Fiji, they were very poor, played better against Argentina, but really didn't show any sort of form. And today, every one of them a hero. There's the man who can't miss at the moment. And France have taken the opportunity to swap scrum halves. Stefan Castaner on for Fabian Galtier, La Maison. Over it goes. Sensation. France 43, New Zealand 24. Manya made it, didn't he? He's had a fantastic game as well. Him and Ben Arzi, they have the pick of the forwards, but Bernard Sal still took some scoring. Oh, it's all over, John. Not even the mighty All Blacks can come back from this. And John Hart cannot believe it. The blackest of All Black looks. Got to make the point, though, John. It's a great moment for the Northern Hemisphere rugby, isn't it? It's now a classic. Northern Southern Hemisphere clash next week. Yep, the only time that New Zealand have been beaten before in the World Cups was once by Australia in 91 and of course in the final in 95 by South Africa. And you can feel the self belief growing by the moment from the French. A sensational upset here at Twickenham. Misses out. Wilson wriggles free over, he goes under the post. But we're into injury time almost. Just six seconds left on the clock. Face saving exercise now. 43 29, the first all black score of the second half. The game is over! France have beaten the all blacks. The biggest upset in the whole of Rugby World Cup history. The final result, a sensational France 43, New Zealand 12. They're back on the pitch, little Christophe Dominici. He had so much to do with it, he was absolutely brilliant. A tiny man, and the All Blacks know they are well beaten. An inspired performance from France. With the old war horses, men like uh, Abdel Latif, Benazi, all coming back. And the French are in party mood. Absolutely sensational scenes. And the final score again an unbelievable France 43, New Zealand 31.